Okay, this is an example when s is directly proportional to the square root of t. So our first statement is s is proportional to square root of t, which means s equals k multiplied by square root of t. Substitute in what we know. We know when s is 3, we know t is 81. So k times square root of 81. Now, we should know that the square root of 81 is 9, because 9 times 9 gives us 81. So 3 equals k multiplied by 9. In other words, 3 equals 9k. How do you get rid of that 9? We divide both sides by 9. And if we swap it round, we get k equals 3 divided by 9, which is the same as a third. Now, we're going to take this value and we're going to put it back in place of that k, because we know what k is now. So we've got s equals one third multiplied by root t. And the way I would write that, I would write it as s equals root t over 3. And that means exactly the same thing. It's just more convenient sometimes to write it like that. Now, what is the value of t when s equals 9? So substitute in what you know. 9 equals square root of t, all divided by 3. We'll get rid of this divided by 3 by times in both sides by 3. That'll get rid of that. And we've now got 3 nines of 27 equals the square root of t. Get rid of the square root by squaring both sides. And that leaves us with t equals 27 squared, which is 700 and 29.